my name is Paul Giles. I work for a UK reseller. Uh, we have approximately uh, 2,000 employees and we sell a variety of Cisco solutions and products. Uh, my job title is Principal Consultant and I work in the Professional Services Organisation. Yes, this, the, the, the products, uh, the, the, the whole ASA to, to the new firepower threat defence, we've been using them now for oh, well over 10 years now. Well, we have a number of different types of uh, customers and organisations who need to uh, secure their environments. Uh, and these range from healthcare professionals to financial organisations. Uh, to very small organisations and they have a number of uh, security uh, requirements uh, whether it's just to uh, secure the actual uh, environment where they're working and also to provide additional services such as uh, BPNs and remote access for their remote workers. Uh, well there are a number of uh, valuable um, store features uh, because we, we have a, we have that sort of single product that can do a number of different things, uh, but uh, remote access uh, for users is, is very very important, and also visibility of the uh, types of traffic that are passing through the actual appliances is very very good, and also the reporting of the devices is very good. For one thing, a lot of our customers use a lot of Cisco products already so they have confidence in in cisco products so the the firewalls that they are currently uh, deploying and using now have evolved from their older asa products and they are now moving to the new firepower threat defense and that is now incorporating um, a lot more features uh, and it's also allowing them to get the latest alloc um, downloads and feeds for any security vulnerabilities and they're able to react very quickly to any vulnerabilities that have been uh, highlighted. It's not just the firewalls uh, themselves but one thing I think where, where the, certainly the firewalls and other products could, could actually improve is actually in the licensing. Licensing is quite complicated for a number of uh, customers and including ourselves and um, the, 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 the licensing appears to be changing on a regular basis depending upon the product and the software versions. So we are constantly having to keep up to speed with the different licensing types. Well, initially, when the firewalls uh, were first uh, marketed and came onto the market, should I say, um, that feature wasn't, wasn't very, well, very good. But as the software has evolved over time, that visibility has increased a lot more, and that is giving customers a lot more confidence in the traffic and the traffic flows that they're seeing through, through the actual devices, so they can better understand decide the types of applications that they have on their network. Well, the good thing about the actual firewall itself is that it can integrate with other Cisco products, uh, you know, such as, such, as, uh, such as Cisco ICE. So that allows, us, uh, allows the full end-to-end -end visibility of uh, connectivity and give very good visibility. So I say it's that integration with other products, not just what that individual firewall can do itself. Well, yeah, Talos is obviously um, fundamental to, to, to the actual firewall to actually, um, you know, uh, ad adapt and report on, um, you know, vulnerabilities that are happening day to day and obviously the downloads, uh, reg regular downloads, obviously give, give customers that confidence that their products are as secure as they can actually be. Well, we, we and our customers use a variety of different firewall manufacturers, uh, not, not just Cisco. 
Um, and as with all vendors, some have better properties or better features than actually others. Um, Cisco firewalls, well, for fire, firepower, when it first came out, um, we, we, there was the, we had to use the centralized management system, FMC, uh, but where some customers prefer just an on-box um, GUI uh, to actually configure the actual device. So Cisco were playing catch-up uh, with, with, with other vendors, you know, who play in that same area. But what we found is with, with later versions of, fire, of Firepower and also FDM, which is the on-box management, then features have now come on leaps and bounds and they are now um, sort of like in parallel with, with, with the centralized FMC to, to the FDM. And, and that allows customers a lot more easier to deploy these products, uh, not just on premise, but also in the cloud, cloud as well. Well, most of the, uh, the customers that I work with tend to uh, be on-prem, on and a lot of them go with the centralized management system, FMC, uh, purely uh, because um, it's got larger memory, uh, larger hard disk space, and it can hold reports for, um, for a lot longer period of time. And also, as their network uh, infrastructure uh, uh, scales, FMC can manage more and more of them devices and they're not having to manage individual devices. It's all centralized for them. Well, as with most Cisco products, uh, we typically find Cisco TAC and the support very good. Uh, in, in, the unlikely, in the unlikely case, we have to raise a TAC NACE. They're very, very responsive. Uh, and they generally uh, always provide a quick uh, resolution to any problems that are, that are encountered. Well, if I had to give a score out of one to 10, I would, I would give them a nine. As I said before, they are very, very responsive. The tech engineers are very, very knowledgeable. The tech engineers who, who pick up cases know the product very, very well. And, and, and as I say, they, they always dig deep into the problem and they provide regular updates to ourselves or to the customer. And um, you know, if there's any other problems that are seen after we've had an issue, the case can be reopened and it can be investigated again further. Well, as with most things, as software evolves, the, the, uh, the, the, the software becomes more stable it becomes more, more, more feature rich. Um, as we're seeing with the later versions from seven, from version seven onwards, it's, it's a lot more resilient, a lot more robust. And the actual GUI interface is a lot, is a lot slicker now, whereas before it was a little, little bit clunky. So yeah, we've definitely seen improvements with the later versions of Coda. We, we typically work with customers in the enterprise space. We don't typically work with customers in the uh, service provider, where they would typically have very large scaling of firewalls. They would do clustering and things like that. We know that them features are available, but that's not a particular area that we would actually work in. But obviously there's a, a breadth of um, firepower uh, products and platforms. And uh, you know we can actually scale or what we can uh, um, arrange for the correct uh, firewall for the, the tic, particular needs of that customer. Uh, the, the firewall itself, certainly we would give it eight out of 10. Um, and then uh, you know, obviously we're expecting with later versions of software, again, more features will become available. <laughs>